Hi you guys, this is Jamie with Whatever's Clever Boutique and today we're gonna do a fun spring tumbler and we are gonna try a glitter shaker booty. I am so excited about this. So I'm starting with a 16 ounce plump from the Steel Magnolia and I didn't have any prepped ones of this so unfortunately I had to prep it. <laughs> You guys know that I'm obsessed with the prep tumblers. I really dislike this step, but here's how you do it. You can really use any acrylic paint, spray paint. It's really cold where I'm at, so spray paint just isn't super effective right now. So I'm just using my pop of color. I think it was cool white or pure white, one of the two. And I'm just gonna paint that tumbler. And I think I used two coats here. And I did remove the bottom of this tumbler because we're gonna do that kind of snow globe glitter shaker booty. And so we want the base to be totally white for that portion of the tumbler, which is a little different from prior. So we're gonna use Lassie, Blimey, Summer Cheek, or Chic, maybe it's Chic, <laughs> Baby Violet, all from Peach Yellow Glitters. And I'll have a discount code for them listed down in the description box below. And I'm gonna use epoxy method here. When I'm ombre I prefer epoxy. I just feel like it helps you build up depth. I feel like you have more time. Actually, I know you have more time <laughs> um, to lay the glitters. And I kind of lay in multiple layers. So it just, I just feel like it works best. So I'm just gonna start taking those glitters. I'm gonna go in a swirl motion here and just start kind of laying out what I want my swirl to look like. It worked out perfectly. I was able to use each color twice, so it lined up great in the end. And so now I'm gonna go back in and start going in with a more heavy coat to try and blend those colors together. And now I'm gonna kind of mix up that glitter that's left on my little piece of parchment paper and I'm gonna apply that to that bottom outside ring. Now I went in with two coats of epoxy and then I did my sanding all over to make sure it was really smooth. So now we're gonna go in with almost like a Milky Way effect. So I have Serendipity Saunders from Woods Goodies. I have Monarch Orange from CCDIY. Frosty Sage Green, which is actually yellow. <laughs> Lettuce Green and Pearl White. Those were all from Arteza. And I'm gonna take a little bit of each of those micas and put them in little mixing cups. And I put some pure white in with that yellow and that green, just to kind of lighten them up a little bit. Now I'm taking a little bit of epoxy and putting that in with those mica colors and we're just gonna stir those up. These are gonna be our swirl colors that we're gonna add in once we apply our thin coat of epoxy to the tumbler. I wasn't really loving the pink, so I went in with succulent succubas, I believe is how you say it, from Woods Goodies, and added that in with the other pink that I had. I kind of wanted the colors to go with the colors that were on the tumblers, and that last color was just a little bit too fuchsia, so mixing that in really helped. Now I'm applying that thin coat of epoxy onto the tumbler so that our micas have something to kind of slide over. Now I'm gonna start with that pink. And I kind of went in on the sections that were that color. And in the end, I kind of start to kind of pull them into other color, the other color sections. Today, heart, wow. <laughs> Today, talking is hard. Okay, 
So as you'll see, I kind of start to move them into the sections that aren't necessarily the same color just to give a little different effect. But I'll just kind of let you watch here as I apply these. And then once I get them all applied, I will take a gloved finger and kind of pull the colors a bit so I don't have harsh lines. Once that's all, all, once that is all applied, <laughs> we're gonna take Ella from Peach Yellow Glitters, and we're gonna put that in with a little bit of epoxy, and just kind of brush that through the tumbler sporadically, just to add a little more depth to this Milky Way effect. Don't forget to take that torch because we've done a lot of messing with the epoxy on this tumbler to pop all of those bubbles. Once that coat cures, we're gonna go in with one more coat to kind of level everything out. And then we're gonna go in with these flowers. This is the number seven element sheet from Peach Yell of Glitters. And I'm gonna start laying them in the direction of the swirl. And I kind of just put these where I thought would look best. I'm gonna add a leopard print on there as well, kind of sporadically, so there was no real rhyme or reason as to where these flowers needed to go. Now I'm just gonna take the leopard print and I'm not gonna cover the entire tumbler. I'm just gonna kind of lay them sporadically throughout to fill in the big blank spaces. The vinyl is from Tech Wrap Craft. I have a discount code for them in the description box below, and I will link the color. I don't recall at the moment what it was called, but it is really, really pretty, and it has a shift from like purple to blue to pink. It's so, so pretty. Now I'm going to take my Posca paint pen, a 0.7 millimeter, and I am just going to go through and outline my flowers. This is totally not a necessary step. I love doing this with my florals. I feel like it just adds so much dimension and really makes them pop off the tumbler. So I love to do this on mine. You can totally leave it as is if you like the way it's looking before, but this is just a step that I love to take. and we'll speed it up for you because <laughs> it does take me a little bit of time. And there's what it looks like with everything all outlined. I just love how this tumbler turned out. Now, let's start in on our snow globe shaker booty. So I'm gonna take baby violet, and you guys have seen me do these before. So I just mix some of that glitter with some UV resin, and I'm just gonna fill in, not all the way full, but basically just to the line of where it meets that center with that glitter resin. Now we're gonna do just a really thin coat of the yellow, I believe that was summer, summer cheek or chic um, and I just pull that to the edges because we are gonna want to fill this cavity up with our snow globe mixture so this is just our base coat that you're gonna see through the snow globe once I get those in I'm gonna cure that for 99 seconds then I'm gonna take these acetate sheets and I'm just going to trace that at right outside of that inner circle this is going to seal in our snow globe. 
So I cut that out and then I'm going to take some rubbing alcohol and just rinse off all that paint pen. There's probably something better you can use, but that's just what I had. <laughs> now we're going to take Be Yourself. It's a, like a chunky glitter shape mix from Peach Olive Glitters. I totally thought these were flowers, just a disclaimer. They're little bees hives, but it still works. They're still cute. So I'm taking out those sprinkles. In hindsight, I wouldn't have put those diamonds. Then I'm going to take Goth and Glitz just to use those pink sprinkles out of there. Um, but you end up not being able to see those little clear um, like rhinestone things. So as you saw there, I put a little bit of uh, UV resin around that purple ring and I set the acetate sheet down on top of it and pushed it down so it adhered. And then I cured that with my lamp. Now, just like a snow globe, when you get those tumblers, you see how they have like the little hole in the bottom where you put your mixture? I take one part clear glue with three parts bottled water. Mix those together. And now I'm just gonna fill, I, with that hole that I cut with my X-Acto knife, fill that cavity with your liquid. I saw this idea from Kimberly Hobbs Taylor on Instagram. I saw a post she made about a cowboy version snow globe shaker bottom and instantly fell in love. You guys should head over and take a look at all of the cool stuff she has. And I'm just gonna wipe that off really good with some rubbing alcohol, make sure that mixture is not on the top of that acetate sheet. And then I'm gonna take another little piece of acetate and put it over that hole with some UV resin, cure that for 99 seconds, and then go in with our full coat of UV resin, as you just saw there. You wanna make sure this is pulled all the way to the edge, all of your acetate sheet is covered, and then we're gonna cure that. I think I ended up doing it for like three minutes just to be sure it was really cured. And that is it. And this is what we have. I love how it turned out. I cannot wait to do more of these. But as you can see there, you really can't see those little rhinestone gems that are in there. I do still love how it turned out, but in hindsight, I probably wouldn't use those again because they kind of disappear. But then we're gonna go in with one final coat of epoxy, and this is what we came up with. I absolutely love it. It is perfect for spring, Easter, any sort of, well, really, anytime. <laughs> But I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I hope you were able to gain a little bit of inspiration, learn something new. If you enjoyed what you saw, feel free to like, subscribe. If you wanna hit that bell button to be notified anytime I post future tutorials. I have all of the, in the description box. <laughs> Man, guys, this one's been hard. <laughs> in the description box, I have everything listed and linked that I used as well as quite a few discount codes down there for you guys. As a thank you for watching me. I appreciate you supporting me. This has been such a fun journey. I absolutely love making tumblers and being able to share that has been so much fun. I have all of my socials also linked and listed down below as well as my website where you can shop for my selection of tumblers. I have a few glitter mixes in there too that I kind of made from dump buckets. And yes, so thank you guys so much. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye.